In this episode, I will be using infrared sensors to detect block occupancy. Stick around. Hi, and welcome to a new episode. What I'm trying to do today is do some automation, but um, I'm running into problems that I'm sure some of you have gone through yourselves. And I'm looking for a solution. My problem is this. The line down here at the moment is working fine, including all these sections here. This is the east side, I call it. This is the west. The west side, as you can see, these two sensors here are being uh, are reporting activity, <clears throat> when in reality there is nothing on those rails there. Um, uh, it's a matter of... Uh, uh, I used to think it was wiring, but I have the wire outside from the board and it's hanging like a clothesline I mean there's nothing interfering with it it's a straight line up in the air and still there is this force reporting and um, I suspect that uh, this is the helix by the way this is the helix on one side and this is the helix on the other and um, uh, I suspect it is because of the the the, the shape of the helix the, the closeness of the rails and uh, the amount of activity there is in the area. So, what I did was, uh, on the east side, uh, I disconnected the uh, wires coming from the helix. And from I disconnected them from the current sensors. And, uh, and I connected them directly to the DCC supply. So, they're no longer being monitored but for current. <coughs> But um, uh, as you can see in the in the window below, uh, I added some infrared sensors. Um, uh, there are two there, but the uh, only one at the moment is wired, and I'm using it for the east side. <coughs> I have one on the, the the east helix, and I have one on on the west helix. Um, uh, the minute down here, class thirty three leaves. It will go to the west, and it will go to the first um, uh, infrared sensor, which is located here. And the minute it goes through here, you will notice this. Flicker on and off one, once or twice, maybe it might catch one of the, the, the roofs of the coaches, because it's at the top. And uh, the sensor is at the top. And, uh, and that's it, it will uh, disappear. You won't know if it's anywhere along the line here or if it's coming, uh, by the way, between this and this here, like the one below. This is another um, uh, block. And uh, the block is, at the moment, being monitored by another, well, the one that you're seeing in the clip below, um, uh, infrared sensor. But you will not know whether the train is anywhere here until this flickers. So, um, uh, I'm learning that one sensor will work, uh, but uh, it's not exactly right, because the minute the, f the sensor flickers, um, iTrain uh, uh, reports that, okay, you've gone f through one end to the other of the whole block, which in reality, it just went over uh, an inch of, uh, of track. And uh, the speed change happens from here, not down here when it's supposed to slow down because it's entering the, uh, the siding in this case <clears throat> and uh, to stop it from uh, going down to 40 kilometers an hour all the way down here, which will take forever. I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing this, this testing for, for looks at the moment. I'm using speed. In fact, I changed the, the speed settings, the default speed settings. Um, I just wanted to get from here to here as quickly as possible, without derailing. So you might see a, a, a bit of uh, uh, high-speed trains going by, when in reality uh, they wouldn't be going at this speed. But again, this is just for testing. So, 
Uh, let me show you it working. Let me, let me send this off. This is gonna go uh, around here. Watch, watch the, watch the uh, there. Watch it. Here it comes. Three, two. It's got a flicker. There. Whoop. There. I, I, it's catching the coaches. It doesn't matter, but it picked up speed. You can hear it. Okay. Now, as you can see, the light is off. It could be anywhere here. It's still reporting. It's somewhere here, but you don't know where it is. So, in a minute, I'll let you know. I want to show it to you going in through uh, this side. And at the moment, it's crossing up here. It's gone over to this block, but yet it's being reported that it's still in this block, which is why I believe you need two. One in and one out to report that uh, it moved along to the next block. Here it comes to the next one. Oh, there you are. So it slowed down slightly. You might have noticed the speed here. I think it was 100 or 90 before it went down to 80. And, uh, but now it's going to go all the way down here. It's going to the next uh, siding effect. And here it comes. It's going to vanish from here and it's going to enter here now. And there we are. It's going again. It's going to pause for a few seconds and then take off again. Anyway, so as you can see, these sensors, infrared sensors, do the job. But they don't do it accurately. Ooh, listen to that servo. Need to change it. Anyway, they don't do it accurately. So what I'm thinking of is putting a sensor here and a sensor up here for this block. And a sensor up here and a sensor down here for this block to indicate the train has entered and the train has exited. Um, the problem is how to do it. So, let me organize something on, on, on the workbench and I'll show you that. Be right back. Okay, I've made this little circuit here. It looks like a spider's web on a bad day, but it makes sense to me. I put up a drawing of this, uh, a neater drawing at the bottom of this page. And uh, what I've done is the first, the first uh, infrared sensor on the left would be at the beginning of the block. Uh, it will engage a relay and it will keep the relay open until the train passes in front of or under or over the second infrared sensor which will be at the end of the block. And just as a little demonstration the train will be coming towards this the relay will latch and here is your, this will be what will go to the uh, uh, DigiKeys uh, infrared uh, module. And um, when it passes, it can pass many times over this, nothing happens. Sometimes I get more than one effect, uh, sorry, response uh, on, on the screen when the coaches pass under the uh, infrared that I've used uh, temporarily. 
and it doesn't make any effect. So, I mean, you can pass a hundred coaches here. Once it's on, it stays on. When we get to the end and we go over it, watch the watch this LED. It goes off, and again, you can go over it a hundred times, and this LED remains off, meaning that uh, in this case, I train and um, will uh, know that it, the train entered this block irrelevant how many uh, coaches behind or wagons and once it's out it doesn't matter how many times you hit that uh, that sensor because the uh, i train will not be notified that there was another hit none whatsoever so now put that drawing up for you guys you can pause the video and uh, and take note of it i found it I mean, I think it's going to be a, a good solution to my problem. So the next step is going to be putting the, the sensors in place, wiring all this up with the relays, and I'll get back to you. Before I continue, I uh, hooked up the, the device to the system. So now, uh, any action here will result in a sensor on the screen. Um, I picked this one. I put it in port 33, in fact. Okay. And I'm going to show you it working. This would be the train coming into the um, block. And this is what it does on its way out. So it does stay on all the time. And I'm very happy with that. So let me start setting up on the layout and get back to you. Okay, so I'm done. <clears throat> I finished the, uh, the relays I wanted to set up for the uh, uh, infrared sensors to remain on for, between the, enter the train entering the, the block until it exits. And I've set these up. These are for two blocks. I have another two on the other side of the layout. For the time being, these are the only four I will have to control the, uh, the helix. Uh, let me keep recording so you can see this going by. That's coming in for a stop. And we're going to stop any second now. Okay. Let me show you the infrareds. I've set up this here with two infrared sensors. One is for the east incoming train, this one, for example. And there, it closed off the, the block. And the other one is for outgoing traffic um, to the west side. Um, uh, let me start a train off on the other side and you will see that working. Here comes the class 66. Let me move the camera a bit. Okay. Now there's only one disadvantage. Listen to this. Click. Okay. 
imagine when it clicks for every carriage. This is the the start of the uh, of the block. On the other side, when it exits, it clicks the relay for most of the carriages. The ones that reflect uh, will uh, will trigger off the uh, the sensor. But in reality, it makes no difference. Just the noise. You learn to live with it. Let me show it to you. Here it comes. I close this up for the darkness. In fact, I painted it all black inside. Listen to the relays. <laughs> Can you hear it? And I just switched on that block over there. And it will come down. At the moment the relay is on and it will switch off at the moment it goes through this sensor here. You hear it in fact. And it goes to this one here. Just one click in this case. That's it, it's off. I train knows now that the uh, the train has moved from that block into the other and it's working perfect. Well I hope you like what you saw. I'd like to hear comments. Take care guys until the next one.